Amen. What an awesome God we serve, isn't it? Psalm 27 verse 13 says, I had fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living. We want to thank God for the goodness of God because it's by his grace that we are alive and we are in good health and that we can give God all the glory. Most especially today is the last day in the month of July and as the last Sunday also in the month of July. Isn't God been so faithful? So indeed we can say that we can see the goodness of the Lord. We can only come and testify of that goodness and we give him all the praise. Hallelujah. And we just come to God to just ask for forgiveness. We come in total repentance. The Bible says in 1 John 1 verse 9, that if we confess our sin, that he is faithful and just to forgive us. Therefore, Father, we come before you, Lord, in any form that we sinned against you, in any form that we've done things that are not right, oh Lord. Father, we seek your face this morning, this afternoon, this evening, oh God, wherever, oh God, oh Lord, your people may be gathered all over the world. Now, Father, you have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. Father, we know that we can only come before you with a clean heart. We can only come before you if we are faithful, oh God. Oh, Father, Lord God, we know we sinned against you. We know that we've not done the right thing, oh God, but we'll seek your face, oh God. And we come before you in total repentance that, Father, you have mercy upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said that if we say that, Lord, we do not have any sin, the truth is not in us. But Father, Lord God, we know that we can always come back to you. We can come back to your feet, oh Lord, and say, Father, we'll sin against you. But we know that because of your word that you said that if we repent of our sin, you are more than able that you will forgive us. Therefore, Lord, we pray that the enemy will not stand against our prayers, our worship before you today, Lord. But you will have mercy upon us. Your mercy we ask. You your mercy we seek, O oh Lord, that we'll be able to meet with you and you can meet with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And that, that word in Psalm 34, verse 8 to 10 says, hallelujah. I'll just read what it says. One second, please. It says, all taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye say, for there is no one to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want anything good. Hallelujah. You know, in this day and age, with everything that is going on, things are not in surplus, but we trust in the name of the Lord. We know that it's only by his grace, it's only by his mercy that we can do all things. And definitely I can testify of the goodness of God in my life, that if it has not been God, who am I to even say anything? But the goodness of God has indeed kept me. It's kept my sisters here. It's kept you that you can hear my voice. So we are testifying. You may be thinking that what has it done for me? But the Bible said a whole test and see that indeed our God is good. And we can testify that indeed our God is faithful. Hallelujah. I love that song that said that I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassion, even when we are not faithful. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh, Lord, you have been so good. You've been so good to us. Oh, Lord, you are excellent, excellent in your ways. So it can only be our God. Indeed, is a faithful God. I don't know what your own testimony may be. I don't know what you want to share and say that, yeah, come and see. Indeed, our Lord has been wonderful. But we want you to join with us today and to experience the mighty power of God and indeed to hear how faithful our God has been and how faithful you will continually be even in the means of the trials we 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 we, we want to trust in the name of the lord we want to believe in him that indeed he is faithful great is our god in the name of jesus hallelujah father will bless you awesome god we just give him praise 
And you know, before we can say that we are testifying of the goodness of God, there are many things that make us not to be able, not to make us tangible, not to make us to be able to come before God. And that is our sin. The Bible said that the enemy is always going before God every time, saying that, look at what this person has done. But because of the blood of Jesus, that blood of Jesus has come that we may have life. He shed that blood that we may have life and have it more abundantly. So we are going to cry out to God once again on behalf of countries. That Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord. Whatever sin, oh Lord, that countries are doing, oh Lord, whatever sin that they've committed, oh God, that may not allow us, oh Lord, to be acceptable before you. Because he said that, Lord God, if we confess of our sin and if we repent and we seek you, that you will heal our land. Therefore, we cry out to you, to you today. That Father, have mercy upon us. Your mercy, Lord, we ask, oh God. Your mercy, Lord, we seek, oh Lord, on behalf of troubled countries all over the world. That Father, have your way. The Bible said that if two or three people are gathered in your name, that he, oh Lord, you wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. But you said because of the righteous people. And the Bible said that the public prayers of the righteous are very much. Therefore, we are crying out to you. Have mercy upon countries. Father, we are crying out to you regarding communities. That Father, Lord God, every sin that we commit, eh, we come in total repentance, oh God. Father, your mercy, oh God. Have mercy upon us, oh God. We come on behalf of churches, oh God. Churches that have derailed from the real existence of calling out to reaching out to people to come before you that may be doing things that are not right. We say, Father, have mercy upon us. Do not destroy the church, oh God. But instead, have us have your way, oh God. Father, draw us back to you. Let us come back, oh Lord, to the heart of worship, which is the most important thing to be able to do what you sent us to do, to fulfill the calling of God upon our life. Father, Lord, to not miss our purpose, oh God, which is the essence of praising you. So in any form, churches have derailed. Lord God, we ask for your mercy. And we come before you, Lord, even as individuals and collectively, that Lord have mercy upon us. Any sin we've committed in total repentance so that we can taste, we can testify of the goodness of God. And we can say, indeed, our God has been good. Father, give us reason to testify. Father, we thank you, Lord. Indeed, our God is faithful. Hallelujah. We give God praise. Awesome God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so we just, I would just like to welcome you all to Powerhouse Hour this evening. Another glorious time in the presence of God that we are saying, oh, come and taste and see that our God is good, that you can testify for the goodness of God. Our God is so faithful that when we come to you in total repentance, the way we are, he accepts us. It doesn't draw us back. It's not a judgmental God, but instead his hands are always wide open. And we are extending that to you today, that we welcome you into our midst, where we meet every Sunday, just to create a soaking room experience, to worship and adore our God in an unconventional in a non-traditional and non-religious manner, which is the essence of our existence, to worship our God. And we gather virtually every Sunday between um, 3 p.m. and 4 p.m., which is U.S. time. And we pray that as you meet with us anytime, that the Lord himself will bless you. The Lord will reach out to you so that you will be able to testify. You'll be able to say that song. You'll be able to say that word. Oh, come and see. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just pray that you experience God like you've never done before in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we pray that as you um, enjoy the service, as you fellowship with us, the Lord himself will speak to you and you have that testimony that indeed our God is good. Hallelujah. And we just want to say, please share and subscribe to our various um channel that we've got by YouTube. We're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, and we are also on um, Facebook. And most especially, we also have our own um, our own um, line, which is um, phhword.com, which is our own internet, our own page line that is mainly directed for PHH. So if there's anything that you need to contact us, please feel free and share the word of God so that there will be many to testify of the goodness of God. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. In the book of 1 Samuel 14, Jonathan dipped the end of his stick into a piece of honeycomb and ate the honey. After he had eaten it, 
he felt refreshed. He said, see how refreshed I am now that I have eaten this little bit of honey. Amen. Jesus is like honey to me personally. He has sweetened my life. He has given me reasons to smile all the time because he saved my soul. Amen. Something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. I know something about the name Jesus, something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. In Psalm 19, 9 to 10, it says, Reverence to the Lord is pure, lasting forever. The laws of the Lord are true. Each one is fair. They are more desirable than gold, even the finest gold. They are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the comb. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Oh, he's always just the same. Praise his holy name. That is the reason why I love him so. Oh, Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Oh, he's always just the same. Praise his holy name. That is the reason why I love him so. Oh, Jesus is the sweetest name I know. That is the reason why I love him so. Oh, Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Oh, how, how many times he had personally showed up in my life. Hallelujah. Times when I was down. Times when I was persecuted. Times when I was sick. Times when I didn't think I would see another day. But he showed up every time to rescue me, to save me to restore me, hallelujah, to give me a reason to testify of him, hallelujah. And because of what he's done for me on Calvary Cross, I'm able to say to you today that truly he is sweet. He's the sweetest name I know, hallelujah, that if you surrender your life to him, you will taste of his sweetness personally. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In Judges 14, 18, it says, So before sunset of the seventh day, the men of the town came to Samson with their answer, 
What is sweeter than honey? What is stronger than a lion? Hallelujah. That answer is Jesus Christ himself. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Holy and anointed one. Jesus. Your name is like honey on my lips. Your spirit like water to my soul. Your word is a lamp to my feet. Jesus, I love you. I love you, Jesus, Jesus, risen and exalted one, Jesus. Your name is like honey on my lips. Your spirit like water to my soul. Your word is like a lamp to my feet. Jesus, I love you. I love you. Your name is like honey on my lips. Your spirit like water to my soul. Your word is a lamp to my feet. Jesus, I love you. I love you. Your name is like honey on my lips today. Your spirit like water to my soul. Your word is a lamp. Unto my feet, Jesus, I love you, I love you, hallelujah. Friends, when I'm out of words, when the situations, the circumstances of life have been overwhelming today to me, Sometimes all that I can say is Jesus. Two weeks ago, I was afflicted with COVID-19. There were nights I couldn't breathe much. All I could order is Jesus. My brain wanted to pray, you know, awesome prayers, fire prayer, but I didn't have the energy to pray, to quote the Bible, to quote scripture. All I could order, even in the smallest sound I could make, was Jesus, 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 Jesus. That's all I could say, hallelujah. And you can do the same right now. Just say his name, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah. That's the prayer in itself, Jesus, hallelujah. Psalm 81, 16 says, but I will feed you with the finest wheat. I will satisfy you with white honey from the rock. 
Psalm 19, 103 says, how sweet your words taste to me. They are sweeter than honey. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Come and lay down the burden you have carried. For in the sanctuary, God is here. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Come and lay down the burdens you have. Carry for in the sanctuary, God is He. He is He. He is He. To break the yoke and lift the heavy burden. He is here. He is here. To heal the hopeless home and bless the broken. Come and lay down the burden you have carried. For in the sanctuary, God is here. Oh, friends, I don't know your burdens today. I don't know what is waiting heavy on your spirit, on your mind, on your heart, hallelujah. But Jesus is here, the one that lifts our burden, hallelujah. He is here. As we sing this song again, oh, by faith, come and bring him all your burden, however big, however small, he wants to carry all it away. Hallelujah. He wants to give you peace today. He wants to give you rest today. Peace of mind. Hallelujah. He wants to carry your burden. He carried your cross 2,000 years ago. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, that will be heavier than carrying our sins on that cross. So trust him as we sing again and give him all of your burden. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Come and lay down the burdens you have carried. For in this sanctuary, God is He. He is He. He is here today to break the yoke and lift the heavy burden. He is here. 
He is here to heal the hopeless home and bless the broken. Come and lay down the burdens you have carried for in this sense. To worry, God is here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, sweet Jesus, you are the name above all names. You are the name above sickness and disease. You are the name above circumstances and disappointments. You are the name above everything that is named on the face of this planet. You are the cure for uncurable disease. You are the true and the faithful one. You are the horn of my salvation, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the lamb that was slain for my sin, my pool of Bethesda, my city of refuge, my food and my water, my sustenance, my substance, my nourishment, sweeter than honey on the honeycomb, my man of falling from heaven, the ruler of all powers and principalities in heaven, on earth, in the seas and under the seas. You open doors that no one can shut. You shut doors no one can open. You make a way in the wilderness. You make a way where there seems to be no way. Hallelujah. The God in whom I trust and I worship you. Amen. Awesome God. Hallelujah. Father, I just thank you, Lord. I bless you. I worship you, Lord, because you are the Bam of Gilead. You are unquestionable God. You are unquestionable God. You are omnipotent. You are omniscience. You are the consuming fire. You are the bishop of my soul. Father, you are the firstborn. You are the living water. You are fearful in praises. You are glorious in holiness. You are almighty God. You are my advocate. You are unchangeable changer. You are the strong tower. You are my banner. You are my buckler. You are my fortress. You are my restorer. You are my teacher. You are my instructor. You are my comforter. You are my redeemer. You are my defender. You are the yam that I am. You are my shield. You are my pillar. The pillar, oh Lord, that hold me, oh God. Even when I think that, Lord, I do not feel you, oh God. You never stop walking. You are always there for me. You are my helper. You are the mightier than the mightiest. You are the greater, oh Lord. You are greater than the greatest, oh Lord. You are powerful, God. You are excellent, God. You are internal, God. You are ageless, God. You are ancient of days. You are the way, the truth, and the life. You are the Lamb of God. You are Lion of Judah. You are the Lead of the valley, you yes. are my all in law. Indeed, yes. I can testify the Lord has been good to me. In Indeed, I can say yes, come and see, come and taste, because I'm a living testimony. Therefore, Lord, I bless you. I give you praise because you are a good God. Thank you for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. You are the God of all grace, the God of hope the God of love and peace, fountain of living water, the spring of living water, the Lord of lords, the true God, the true God, our Father, the bridegroom, the everlasting King of glory, my Father, my glory, my light, the glorious God, the great God and Savior, my shepherd, my deliverer, my redeemer, my God, my Lord of hosts, the captain in battle, the prince of peace, my Lord, my savior, the rock, the rock and my salvation, 
my savior, the savior of all men, the savior of all mankind, the savior of all, the God of Abraham, the God and the father of a Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Holy One of Israel, the Holy One of Atas family, the Holy One of PHH family, Jehovah Jireh, the God our Father, the God our deity, the heavenly King of glory, my husband, the jealous God and avenging God, the jealous God and avenging God, the God Almighty, the beginning and the end, the Alpha Omega. Oh Lord, I thank you this day, this time, this hour. Thank you, Jehovah, for my going in and coming out. Oh Lord, we give you glory. Jehovah Nisi accept our thanksgiving. Thank you, King of Kings. In Jesus' name I worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Glory. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lord. Hallelujah to the mighty one of Israel. Hallelujah to Messiah, the King of glory. Hallelujah to the mighty one. Hallelujah to the most high God. Thank you, Jesus, because you are my fortress. You are my help in the time of need. You are my high priest. You are my high tower. You are my hope. You are my Lord and my God my strength and my prince. You are the rock of ages, the rock of refuge. You are my salvation, my shield, hallelujah. You are my song, you are my support. You are my great God. There is no one like you. You are my Passover, my peace, the peace that passed all human understanding. You are the praise forever. You are the prince of life. You are the prince of peace. You are my redeemer. You are the refiner and my purifier. Hallelujah. You are my refuge from storm of life. You are my resting place. You are my restorer. You are my all in all. You are the son of God. You are the son of the most high God. You are the spirit of God. You are the strength of my life. You are my strength when I'm in need. You are my strength when I'm weak. You are the one that keep me going. You are the wind beneath my wings. Hallelujah. Glory be to your holy name. I love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Everything we think about you is great. You are great, 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 everything, everything written about you. Is my father, my king, my friend, my redeemer, my savior, my saving grace, my protection, my protector, my shield and my buckler, my security and my defense, father of the fatherless, the father of all fathers the husband of widows, the husband of the lonely, the friend of sinners, the prince of peace. You are a compassionate God, a caring God, a loving God, and a faithful one. The overshadow, you are God all around me. Christ my Palm of Gilead, my helper, you are my Ebenezer, my Emmanuel. You're my son of help, my assistance. You are my support, my Eliezer, my helper, Kabosata, Yea, Karina, all powerful Jehovah. 
all powerful God, my aid. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah to the one that sits in heaven and make the earth his full soul. Hallelujah to our Father and King. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, 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 we're looking at God. We're looking at God and we're looking to God and we're asking that you come and taste and see that the God that we gather here together with every Sunday, 3 to 4 p.m., is a good God. And we are asking you to come and taste and see that he is good. You know, I could try to be politically correct and try to convince you with all the passages and all the verses I could find in the Bible to tell you to come and taste that he is good, to tell you of his kindness, his protective nature, his forgiving nature, his healing nature. And it will be okay. But no, not today. Today, I want to tell you about one of the many ways that I have tasted and definitely know for sure that God is good. And I am blessed because I trust in him. Psalm 34 verse 8 says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. For everyone that trusts in our God, we are blessed because he is trustworthy. He has integrity. He is not partial. He doesn't relent on his words. So we are blessed to know him. Hallelujah. I have a personal story that I want to tell about how I have tasted and still tasting the goodness of God. So on our anniversary edition broadcast, I narrated how God called me to PHH. Today, I would like to give an account of one of the many ways that he has kept me alive to make sure that being called to PHH was possible. You see, we talk about a God that knew us from my mother's womb. We talk about a God that foretold what we were going to become. We talk about a God that foresee that has seen the future. Even before my father and my mother came together, he already knew what I was going to be. And this is the God we are asking you to come to taste of his goodness. So my senior brother had traveled back to the UK as a citizen, but he still bought a return ticket because he didn't know what he was going to meet. So he bought a return ticket back to Nigeria just in case. And after a year of being in the UK, he sent his return ticket to a pilot friend of his, whom at the time was my boyfriend. <laughs> what we did not know at that time was that I was carrying a deadly, a deadly disease in my body that could have taken me out if God had not planned, had not had a plan for my life and he had not intervened. I'm testifying to the goodness of God. Decades long ago, but it made it possible today to testify. So we added some money to what we got from the ticket. And I bought a one-way ticket back to meet my brother in London. Immediately, immediately getting there, I started having some of these symptoms. And I went to the GP and the GP at the time could not properly diagnose or even help. All I was getting were cough mixtures. It was non-stop coughing, fever, high fever, soaking my bed sheet with sweat, and it was worsened in the night. By now, you may be already thinking what that deadly disease was. At the same time, I was looking for work, 
while going through the illness. One faithful day, and I say one faithful day because the day, there's always a day that the Lord has made. And that faithful day, I rejoice and I'm rejoicing and I'm glad and I'm still being glad in it. I got dressed up, not knowing where I was going. You know, just like Samuel, when God called him and he was speaking to him, Samuel didn't know he was God. At the time, I didn't know who was talking to me, but I just got up, got dressed. And I got on a bus from Shoreditch. Anyone that knows London will know Shoreditch is in the East London, where we lived then. And I headed towards my end. I had no business at my end. I live, if I was to look for work, I would have gone to Cuba. I would have gone to, New, um, um, uh, what do you call it? To, uh, you know, near area. I would have gone to Liverpool Street. I would have gone to those areas. I would have gone to Oswald Cycles. But I got it on a bus and I was headed to mile end. It wasn't my normal route. But I followed anyway. As we entered, as the bus entered into my end, there was a brick, a gray brick building to my right of where I was sitting on the bus. And something <laughs> or someone which I now know to be the spirit of the most high God, compelled for me to get off at the next bus stop, which I did. And I walked towards, back towards the building, not knowing what it was, not knowing where I was going. And when I go to the front of the building on the other side, I crossed over and crossing over to the front of the building, I realized it was an L center. Hey, can we see your career? A center of hope, a center of help, a center of orchestrated help by the mighty one of heaven. It was out of my borough, which we refer to as a county as in America. It could have been, it could not have been possible unless God made it possible, unless he orchestrated it. So I enter into the building. And I saw a lady janitor who mentioned that the health center had closed at five o'clock. This was way past five o'clock. The health center has closed for the day and I was to come back the following morning. I said, thank you. And I turned to leave the building and I was moving towards the door. And I saw God nearer to the door. Oh God of heaven and earth. The lady called out to me. There's a lady doctor coming from my office. And as the doctor got thin nearer to us, the janitor told her that I was looking for help, help from the throne of grace, help from the throne of mercy, the help that God himself orchestrated. So the doctor said that she had closed for the day. But whichever way she stood behind to listen to my story. And I told her all about what I was going through, what was going on, and how all I've been getting is confirmation, but something is not right. You know, she listened and she said, Come back the following morning. I will research into it. On returning the following day, she told me that she has an idea where it was, but she wanted me to have an x ray which was never mentioned by any of the GPs that I saw earlier. And when I went back for the x-ray results, everything within about you is great. It showed that over half of my lungs, about 60 something percent of my lungs was darkened was black like Chaco and it was being eaten up. She told me what it was. <laughs> I never heard about it, but she told me what it was. And she now sent me back to the same health district to prescribe antibiotics. And I was on antibiotics for almost a year, almost a year. His eyes, 
His eyes is on the sparrow. And I know, I know he watches me. His eyes, his eyes is on the above. Because I know he watches me. I say, because I am happy. I say, because I feel free. His eye is on the spot. And I know, I know, I know, he watches me. You know, for someone who do not know the power and might of God, you could put it down as a coincidence. But I had no business being in the mind, -led, mind end area, except I was meant to be there. Many who have tasted of the goodness of God, those who have been miraculously healed, and those who have tasted death and come back to life, they will understand where I'm coming from this afternoon. For us, we know that without the saving grace of Jehovah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we definitely know that we will not be here. And if we are here, we will not be the same if God has not made it possible. We know that if it has not been the Lord on our side, <laughs> many of us will have gone down to the pits. Many of us could have been crack, cocaine houses, dancing floors, on the street in gangs, in a brothel. Different things we could have been doing. But because of the saving grace of Jehovah, I am here and you are here. Hallelujah. All taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. I grew up in a Christian home. We woke up early in the morning, 5.30, to pray. I attended Sunday school, but I did not know God personally. I did not have a relationship with him. I did not know that he preserves those who he loves. He protects, he saves and delivers them all, you and I included. Hallelujah. You and I included. But now I know better. And I believe it's one of the reasons that he has kept me alive to be able to share of his love and salvation with you this afternoon. The same reason he made it possible that the deadly disease that could have cut my life short. If I had remained in Nigeria, I've been, I was told, I would have died within a year. I mean, what will I breathe with? when all your lungs have been eaten up. Now I'm screaming and exovert. I'm shouting, I'm singing his praises because it regenerated the lungs inside of me. Hallelujah. Now many people will know when the COVID season started, how I stayed away from church and everywhere because I could not compromise my lungs. Sometimes we see people on fire for God and we wonder why, how, what? And so we even say, this Jesus thing is not a big deal. You're taking it too seriously, Yabo. You are not in my shoes. Now you know one of the many reasons, many to love and serve like the servants, an errant girl for this same God who made it possible for me to wake up this morning. I'm alive with purpose, not just alive. I'm alive with purpose, speaking of his goodness. Yeah, 
proclaiming the word of the Lord to the end of the earth. Hallelujah. Because he allows it. The one that could say, this morning, it's time to come home. Now, to the glory of God, I'm a God chaser, a Christ chaser. And I choose to give him a chance many years ago when my brother introduced him to me. I mean, in between, I went my own ways, but like a prodigal daughter, I found my way back to him. So I'm in turn today introducing him to you. <laughs> he is a father, a friend that stick closer than a brother or a sister or even a parent. He is the son of God who left his position in heaven as a divine being, came down to earth, born into a human form to look like you and I. But his plan was not just to, to come to know us. He had a permanent solution to end sins in our lives. The lamp of God who came and took away the sins of the world. And I say his eyes on the spouse. And I know, and I know his eyes is on the spouse. And I know because he watches is me. You may know of him. Maybe you are a Christian in church serving. Giving of yourself, keeping the Ten Commandments, living with the eye morale, but yet you may not know him personally or have a personal relationship with him. So this afternoon is for you. Think about me decades ago and how I could have been a memory in the hearts of my loved ones. But today, today that the Lord has made, I have an opportunity, the opportunity to invite you to come closer to the creator of the heaven and the world. Who thinks of us as the same? The way he thought about me then is the way he's thinking about you now. He's never partial. He never relents. And he will never go back on his promise that none shall perish. Hallelujah. And you may be wondering, how to get to know him. After hearing one of these many ways that he, I have tasted of his goodness, that he has been good to me and is good to many of us. Only starts on this line. Everyone has a story. Well, all you need to do is to believe with your heart and confess with your mouth that he is the son of God and repent of your sins and ask him to come into your heart to surrender your old life to him and for him to give you a new one. Psalms 125, one says, those who trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion. Nothing can move them. A rock solid mountain. He is one that you can always depend on. If this is you, you had my story. I was 20 something, 21 to be exact. 20, 20 going 21, that's it. You wanna say this prayer with me? Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. Even when I did not know you. Thank you for coming to earth to grant me forgiveness and to save my soul. I surrender it all to you. I believe and I confess that you are the son of God. I repent from all my sins. Please forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Amen. Above all, please write my name in the book of life that I may reign with you in eternity. Amen. I have no, the Father cares for me. He's been good. He's been good. Show sure, my life is always there for me. 
God's been good to me. Through the storms, through the night, come what may, everything's gonna be all right. I have known the path that cares for me. God's been good. God being good to me. He is good to you, even without you knowing it. He's always good to us. He's a good, good father. If you have said this simple prayer with me, please find a Bible-believing church to fellowship and to start reading your Bible so you can get to know him. And you can also reach out to us at PHH on any of our social media platforms. We're on the Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. And we have a website, www.phhworld.com. We would like to know more about you. And please help us to share our broadcast, to reach to the end of the world for Christ. Every nation touched, every heart changed, and none to be left behind. We love, we love you at PHH, but remember, Christ loves you more. So you have a wonderful, fulfilling week ahead in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to take this time to thank you for joining us. You know, when I think of the goodness of God, and all he has done for me and for everyone present on this flight. And for you and your household. Our souls we need to rejoice. To sing his praises and shout hallelujah. For Christ saving us. He is an awesome God. And he has been awesome in this hour. Praise be to his holy name. We thank you again for joining. We meet every Sunday, 3 to 4 Eastern Time, U.S. Eastern Time. To we'll bring the good news to you. To reach the end of the world for Christ. So we look forward to seeing you next week. And we're saying, yeah, please help us to share. Let everyone else hear. We're not titled, we're not pastors. But you know, one thing that we have is that we can testify of the goodness of God. And you don't need anything to be able to do that except be a child of God, a citizen of heaven, a holy nation, caught forth by he himself. Hallelujah. As I come into your presence, pass the gates of praise. We just pass the gates of testifying into your sanctuary. Till we stand in face to face. I look upon your countenance. I see the fullness of your grace. I can only bow down and say, and say, you've been awesome in this place, almighty God. You've been awesome in this place. I have a father. You are worthy of our praise. To you our lives we raise. You've been awesome, awesome in this place. Almighty God, you've been awesome in our lives, Almighty God. You've been awesome in our lives, 
Abba Father, you are worthy of our praise. And to you our lives, our moments, our days, our years be waste. You've been awesome in this place, almighty God. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful and fulfilling week in the presence of God. We look forward to seeing you next week by his grace. Thank you. That ends our podcast for today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bye-bye, everyone. Amen. We say bye-bye to you. Bye-bye, everyone. Awesome. Awesome. Hallelujah.